Ugh. Well, yeah. how many of you have seen this shirt? It's a cool shirt. It's got his guitars and that and him. Randy Rhodes. So, the last time I made a video, I played a, a song. I thought people would friggin' know what it was. I butchered, you know, part of it, but the main thing I didn't play wrong, but the thing is, is no one's watching, so it really doesn't matter what the hell I talk about, right? Right. So, this is a deal. I got a record deal. I need to get the record put out. It's quick, so that's going to happen. And the guy's working on the script now for the movie, and he's going to need the songs for my albums, and we're going to work in songs from my past bands to tell the story of my side of things. So, like, you've seen Queen, you've seen Motley Crue, now you'll see how it is to get right there, but, you know, you taste success to a certain degree, you know, you're touring, you're doing stuff, I'm throwing TVs over balconies, had to do it, and, and it was easy, because I just, <laughs> and this is why I miss my poor, my roadie that died, you know, a couple, actually a few months ago, but uh, I was determined because last time we, he, he punched a hole through the wall so he could talk to me from the other room. It made sense at the time, but we got kicked out of that motel. So the next time we went around to that town, we got put in another motel. And I'm like, you know, we didn't throw a TV out the window. And we couldn't throw the TV out the window. It would, it would be disastrous because we couldn't open the window. It was this was in uh, Nevada or Arizona, so I said, "Go get the TV from the other idiot's room because they've already checked out." We'll throw their TV over, or no, I took my TV and I threw it over the balcony and bam, you know, into the parking lot. Then we went into the other room, got their TV, put it in my room, and that way, if anybody asked, it wasn't me. Somebody must have stole their TV in third hour. I had to do it. And, you know, actually, I like shooting TVs better. The old ones. The new ones, if you're talking about everybody's thinking TV, they're thinking flat screen. That is not fun to throw over or shoot. But the old ones, the cathode ray tube, those imploded when you shot them. Or threw them over a balcony into a parking lot. So... I got to do all that, and I got to do everything, you know, you know, wrecking cars. I wrecked, like, dozens of cars, totaled them, and left them on the street, on the freeway. You know, wound up in the hospital several times, you know, not badly hurt, but should have been. Should have been killed when I rolled the van 12 times, and my drummer rolled 12 times, because we had three girls following us in a Trans Am, or no, in a Camaro. And we, when it landed, it started to smoke, and they, they were crying, oh, they're dead. This is 1987, 8, 1988. And uh, so the freeway at 3 in the morning or 4 would actually be desolate. This is the 101, if anybody knows about California. So we landed, the van landed in the middle of the freeway, totaled. We'd flipped like 11 or 12 times the girls counted and then it started to burn and we couldn't get out so I'm like you idiot bronze, pull us out and they got my foot and they pulled me out and then pulled the other idiot out my uh, drummer Rudy and then they took us we're gonna take us to the hospital then the drummer being drunk and stupid was hitting on the driver and she threw us both out on the freeway, so my drummer, who's like five foot nothing, and I'm like six four, I didn't weigh much, 140, 150 pounds, he had to carry me like three miles to my friend's house. Then he took me to the hospital. Stupid, crazy. You know, but you know, 
they talk about crashing cars. At least I didn't crash and kill anybody. Close, but didn't happen. But we crashed a lot of cars. That'll all be in thing, and you know, it'll be just like what it was like to do to be in the shadow of fame is what I'm calling it. And then uh, that's that. You know how many people will watch this and comment? About 20 or 30 might, might watch it and one or two will comment. Maybe. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try to play that song, just a part of it, and you better freaking guess what it is. I'll even tell you the band Motley Crue. playing it perfect but you see this if you seen that old guy he looks like old grandpa Moses with a giant beard and he's bald not that there's anything bad with bald but the dude looks like he's someone's old granddad that be and he talks like some old you know hick but he can play anything he plays over the mountain you know he plays uh, the other Randy song you know uh, <laughs> Uh, flying high again perfectly and he says he messed up the friggin soul I'm like how where he plays spirit of radio he plays Van Halen ain't talking about love then he starts singing he sings ACDC Led Zeppelin immigrant song uh, all sorts of crap and he's nailing every single one of them the guitar and singing look for him 
I don't know what the hell his name is, but I'm like, oh, I feel like a jerk now. This guy is amazing. But you know what? Then I started thinking, I know of three people right now that have never been in a band that have just, they might have played in garage bands and, you know, done little things, but they never, they never made it. And they're great players, but they can play everybody else's stuff. They don't play their own stuff. That's why when both Randy and Craig, my guitar teachers, said don't try to copy people, try to get your own sound. And by going to see Motley Crue so many times, I sounded like Mick in my rhythms, but after a while people, I started to sound like me, even though my leads are very scattered. I'm trying to work on that. Anyways, I think that's it. I'm, I don't really feel like playing. I'm, I might play for a minute, and then I'm done, okay? All right. <laughs> songs go. I've been listening to like three I went to. One's a whiskey show, the other one is uh, the other two are a country club. They proceed a country club. Friggin' I, I remember them sounding amazing and the people are going crazy. But they're sloppy. I mean, you know, already Vince is already going You're already doing that. You know, not pronouncing words and just that's Vince, but it's him. And then Mick was friggin' amazing back then, playing that friggin' you know. Because I see this guy, the Tone King. He supposedly has talked to his you know Les Paul deal, Mick's son. He was too young to know what Mick was doing on the first two albums. I talked to him for two straight years. I had my mod, my Marshall modded exactly like his, and I know exactly what friggin' effects he used, and I used them too, and I can nail his sound on that Marshall. And then a lot of it's the way you play, and you gotta have kind of like the right pickup, Super Distortion, to get that old Motley Crue sound. Now he works with a bunch of different stuff, but it's him playing that gives him that you know it's Mick. That's what you're supposed to do. Develop your own sound. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
trick is to play like this. And I'm, I never got that. I still can't do it.
I'm done. I'm... Yes, this is a Gibson. It's absolutely a Gibson Les Paul. Does it look like one? Quit asking stupid questions, then. Uh, yeah. So yeah, these are actually, this is a, I don't know what that is. It looks like a PAF. It probably is. This is a super distortion. And this is, of course, what it looks like, a coil splitter. I don't know why he put it there. I said, put in a kill switch, and he put in a coil splitter. This is another guy, my, the guy that used to work on the guitars. He'd never do anything right. The guy that does them now, just does them right. And I'm going to have my Mick Mars. This was like as close to Mick sounding as I could get was this guitar. I'm going to have another one put together tomorrow. I'm giving it to him. He's going to come up and get it. And that's going to be my Mick guitar. It's my other Black Les Paul. I'm having a an uh, early uh, early or late '70s uh, super distortion put in it. It'll be potted, so I won't get the squealing. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Probably pretty good. Um, as far as anything else, you know what? It, 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 stuff is still going. I've Got out of town for a few days. I'm back. I'm not thrilled about it because I didn't get away that long. I'm going to wait a couple of weeks and try it again. Um, <laughs> I just travel. And there's a place, there's a, usually a hotel I go to, a certain one in Vegas. And I get there and they're having a bingo tournament the day I show up. So I get to sit in a hotel filled with old people playing bingo. That was thrilling. But at least I got away and I got to go do some uh, prospecting as I do that. I do gold mainly and silver secondly. And since I was in Nevada, I did some silver and gold prospecting and I got zero, but it was fun. All right, that's it. Later. Metal. Now comment and subscribe. Thank you.